Hello everybody. This is my third installment in my series on how to build your own solar panel. In the last video I mentioned that I had basically two options of how to do my design. I could either do three rolls of 12 or two rolls of 18. Well, I had decided on three rolls of 12, but because of uh, I couldn't find any glass big enough, I had to go with four rows of nine. And this is actually the biggest glass that I could find, which I don't know if you can see now, but it's a 30 by 36 uh, replacement glass. Uh, this stuff you can cut. Uh, like the safety glass I can get for free, you can't cut because it'll just shatter, so that wasn't a good option. But everybody seemed to have this for about the same price, just under $16. And so anyway, my measurements are going to be 32 inches long by 27 inches wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark off my 27 inches wide on my 4x8 sheet of plywood that I bought at Home Depot. It was pretty much about $11, think give or take a little bit in tag. And it's a little less than half inch, but it's, I mean, I think it should work really well once I stain it and call your stain it. Alright, so I need to mark off 27 inches. So I'll mark that off. I almost always mark them off in the middle. You don't need to, as long as you have uh, measurements on both ends, you can have a straight line. I'm just a little OCD about it, I guess. So, alright, here's my 27 inches, and I want to use a guide, um, so I have a, a nice clean straight line, and I'm going to use this 4 foot level that I've had, it's, it's true and straight, so that's why I'm going to use it, and on the saw here, which I'm using a power saw, skill saw, and if you're not familiar or comfortable with power tools, Either get a friend who is, or don't do it at all. Um, you can use a, a handsaw on this just fine, and it might take you a couple extra minutes, but it's well worth your safety. Anyway, so from the side here, which is going to be going along the guide, uh, in the middle there is an inch and a half, so I need to measure an inch and a half off the line that I made. So let's go ahead and measure off an inch and a half. Okay, it is right there. And I'm going to skip the middle because uh, I'm trying to save time on the video here so I don't run out any time. And, okay, so that's an inch and a half. And that's an inch and a half. And as the old saying goes, measure twice, cut once, which is very true. Alright, so I want, I want this to be my guide, and it's going to be on this side, because this is where my cut's going to be. So I take my two clamps here, clamp it down, and my other clamp is right here. And I'll make sure that's out of the way. Slide this out just a little bit. Uh, so when I go to make this cut, which I'm going to spare you the noise, but I'm going to cut on this side, go along, and that should give me my nice straight line at 27 inches. And just uh, another safety tip, I always wear my safety glasses, and I usually wear my ear protection. This isn't really super necessary, but this pretty much is. I always... Uh, when I don't do it, I always get junk in my eye, and it's just not worth it. So, okay. Okay. So I cut that, and now I need to make my second cut of 32 inches to make it 32 inches tall. So same as the last time. Take my tape measure and I measure from the inside because I'm, I'm cutting this way. So I need 32 inches 
and 32. Thirty-two, and I need you. I'm gonna do the guide again. I'm actually gonna go on this side now because this is gonna be cut off. So I need my. All right, measure right there. That's good. Once again, grab my guide. And I see that one. There it is. Right. And if you're wondering, all these clamps are, I don't know if you can even see both of them. I just have these clamps to the floor, so. It'll stay still as I cut it. Otherwise, it would just go flying out. Okay. Now we're good. And once again, I'm going to spare you the noise. But all I'm going to do is, I have to wear my safety gear. Run this through, and that'll put me right on my uh, 32 inch mark. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is my, this is going to be the back, or it doesn't matter, the, yeah, the backing basically. And I'm going to glue the panels here, um, and the four rows of nine. And this is called a, a fill strip, but I like fur strip too. Anyway, I'm going to use my table saw and rip it in half. And by the way, this cost about, eh, I think it was 96 cents, it was under a dollar. And I'm going to get on my table saw, rip this in half, and put this around the edge so it'll bring it up so I can have the panels lay flat and the glass is going to lay on top of that. So that's going to. Probably the next video is going to run out of time on this one. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless.